this guy is a real disturbance to me. He keeps on staring at me and I keep on loving him. John Mio, the third time I got sucked into his course. John Mio said, handle a book as a bee does a flower. Extract its sweetness, but do not damage it. That is what all the fathers have done to their daughters. When they handed over the daughter to their husband. That's what all the parents have done to the schools and colleges when they handed over their children to be educated. That's what all the people have done in the elections. Handed over the, their country, their district, their state to the elected representatives. Thinking they will handle them as a bead, as a flower. Extract the sweetness. And without damaging it once, you know the sweetness. Wow. You build on that, you create that beautiful pedicure and manicured land because you love to see that flower, your wife looking so beautiful. You start looking at the school which your parents have given to them and the school thinks that how a bee does to a flower without damaging it up, without damaging it up. And that's what all the pilots have been taught. The passengers inside the plane are X take off and land so softly that nobody knows even the shake is. And all the Japanese girls have been taught how to walk and they were only really floating. That's what the Japanese master told the student because after 12 years he said, you have not taught me anything, you made me cook the food in your kitchen, wash the clothes, serve tea and coffee and food to the guests who not to come in. And to several thousands of your disciples, you have given them so much of jnana, so much of teachings, but you have not taught me anything. And the Zen master said, have you watched me walking? They never got a chance to see me when walking, I am walking. I was never walking, I was floating. John Mio said, handle a book as a bee does a flower. What a beautiful observation of John Mio. Yes, a book, handle a book as a bee does a flower. Yes. The book extract the juice. It is healthy for your body. Like the high energy drink. Extract the sweetness and you will sweat it. You will never create a fat, excess fat in your body like the fat money in the bank. Handle a book as a bee does a flower. Handle your wife as a bee does a flower. Extract the sweetness but do not damage it. Do not damage the wife. Neither the wife damages the husband. What a beautiful connecting link to nature. And if what John Muir has said, one connecting link, yes, the whole world is your beauty. If you know to handle that one, like the Zen master told the professor when he entered the room, the professor banged the door behind him. And the Zen master said, go and say sorry to the door. And the professor said, but it is a dead object. 
I won't say sorry. Then the Zen master said, then this interview is cancelled and the professor couldn't take it because he waited for five years to get this interview with the master. So he went and said sorry to the door. It is not about the sorry. It is the way you handle the door. You will be able to handle what the master is being able to give. John Muir said, handle a book as a bee does a flower. Extract its sweetness. But do not damage it. Just take the sweetness. You don't even have to believe the damage if you are conscious about the sweetness and you know to handle it beautifully. That is, give and take policy. Yes. If the man and the woman knows the give and take policy, both together can laugh. And in that laughing point, they find the orgasmic experience. Then you can see no war will ever come near to you because anybody who is coming want happiness, respect, love and the melting point and that is from you because you are not expecting anything. Like how the Rakum school people keep telling everybody, Please keep your feet in our school and we are blessed because you are coming God's for we are not asking anything. Just to walk in, yes, seeing is believing, yes. The happiness and the trance and the drama continues. John Mew said, handle a book as a bee does a flower. Handle a child as a bee, does a flower, extract its sweetness, but do not damage it. Handle a religion, handle a guru, handle the temple, masjid, and the church as a bee, does a flower, extract its sweetness, but do not damage it. On the same way, if you understand that sweetness, you will understand the beauty of that temple, the church, and the masjid. Yes. Like Jiddu Krishnamurti said, when one loses a deep intimate relationship with nature, then temples, masjid, churches become important because you will go there to cry. Without knowing you, that is not the place to cry. If you go there to cry and tell stories, then your whole house will be in deep pain. Handle a book as a beat as a flower, said John Mew. Extract its sweetness, but do not damage it. <laughs>